All right, speaking of a defense that can be exploited, and it has been exploited repeatedly, LSU, as they take on the uh, Missouri Tigers. Uh, LSU, six and a half point road favorite, 63 to the 12. I actually think oh, that, that game's actually still going on, LSU and Ole Miss. I still think Jackson, Dart, and Ole Miss are scoring some touchdowns as we speak uh, against that uh, LSU defense. I mean, just a horrible look for Brian Kelly. He was brought here to bring LSU back to championship status, and all they do is lose the big game. Time after time after time, just like he did at Notre Dame, quite honestly. Um, I'm not laying points on the road with this defense. Hell no. That ain't happening. Off a loss like that last week, a stinging loss. There's Again, kind of like a dream crusher loss. Is that That's now their second loss of the season. Now, it's only their first SEC loss because the only other loss was the Florida State game, the opener. But not with this defense. I mean, absolutely embarrassing what we saw from LSU. 55 points. Mississippi piles up. Over 700 total yards, 706. 706 isn't an area code, folks. Not in this case. It's the number of yards Ole Miss had against LSU's defense last week. 706 total yards yeah. of offense. It doesn't get more embarrassing than that. And, yeah, you could say the defense is humbled. They're going to bring it this week. They're just not a good defense because look what Florida State did to them as well. Look what Arkansas did to them. Arkansas Razorbacks, 31 points, and they were lucky to win that game. They've been brutal as favorites here in these bigger games, other than Mississippi State, who to me aren't that good. And the other games as favorites, Florida State, Arkansas, Ole Miss, 0-3 against the spread in all three of those games. So this is my, as Connor Mack would say, for me in this game, it's over, 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 or nothing. And Missouri's capable of lighting up this team. Uh, there's no question about that. I got to give a lot of credit to Brady Cook, man. I didn't like what I saw uh, early in the season, but man, he's turning it around. He is throwing dimes all of a sudden, uh, throwing the ball all over the field. Uh, Louisiana Te uh, State LSU on defense. Uh, you look at the numbers, they're giving up 260 through the air. Uh, that mm -hmm. is not what you want to see. Even worse against the run. You know, Missouri does throw it more than run it, but if you can't stop the pass and the LSU's not, they're actually better against the run. Uh, or better against the pass, I should say, LSU, but it's not by much. It's not like they're yeah. a great pass defense. They're a mediocre to below average pass defense, and then they're a horrible run defense uh, so far uh, this season. So I still think Missouri and Brady Cook move the ball. I do think Missouri will struggle a little bit. With, you know, the one thing about LSU is they've still got a great offense. You know, Jaden Daniels has been oh, great. Yeah. There's They'll no question score. about that. They'll score their points. He's been great. He can't be blamed for any of this shit. Logan Diggs running the ball has been good. They've got great receivers like Brian Thomas Jr., Malik Neighbors, Mason Taylor. They'll be able to move the ball on LA, on Missouri as well. So over the total is the clear choice for me. What do you think, C-Mac? Yeah, I, I mean, and it's going to go up. So just take take it now. You mentioned that. They gave up 389, you know, passing 317 on the ground, you know, to Ole Miss. Just – and when you look, their defensive ranks, just It was balanced everything. ineptitude from their defense. Balanced ineptitude, yeah. Yeah. Their defensive ranks are just all, you know, they're 115, 121, 112, 110. They're just awful. Missouri's got pretty good offensive stats. And on the flip side, LSU's offense is top 10 in almost every category. They're going to score points. But I, that's one thing with LSU. They, they could win this football game. This is a big game for Missouri at home. I think they're in it. You know, I think you take the points, even some money line with them. I, I just – Brady Cook doesn't have a, a horrible – he's looked good so far, and I think he can pick apart the secondary. So I think Missouri's in it. Yeah, you know what? I'm still clouded by that Middle Tennessee performance where they really struggled and Brady Cook – I need to get that out of my mind because since then in the last two home games, Brady Cook looked awesome. They won and covered as a home dog against Kansas State. And then they played well against Memphis on offense after that. And obviously they moved the ball against Bandy uh, last week. So, yeah, maybe I, I, I'm, if it hits seven, I'm definitely jumping on Missouri uh, for something. I like the over more, but I, of I'd course, Missouri in team pocket. totals. This is the, that's the LSU. It's just, until that stops and it changes, just keep rolling with it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, show me some defense and I'll stop betting overs. Simple as that. Until then, it ain't going to happen. 